Now, after launching his Go Ghana, Eat Ghana campaign to promote farming among the youth, he has started work on his four-acre rice farm again. The farm which produces perfumed rice similar to the ones imported is at Ashraim Kwanta in the Shama district of the Western region. Today on Celebrity Business, host Odilia Ntiamwa engaged Ghanaian rapper and songwriter Enoch Nanaya Odroe J. I guess you're wondering who. Trigmatic, take a listen. Welcome to Celebrity Business. Two years ago, I met him and we started talking music and farming. Well, his products are ready now and they are currently on the market. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Trigmatic! <laughs> okay, just to prove that he's real, can you take your marks off so that everybody... Okay, so it's not fake, it's Trigmatic. You can wear it back. <laughs> so, Trig, why did you go into farming? Uh, me, why not farming? Um, I went into it because, uh, well, I'm, I must be honest, uh, my, my partner, who's a very good friend of mine as well, called me and said, Trey, do you realize that um, the, the base of every industry is agriculture? And we had a little argument, and then he was like, okay, check, check your chairs, check your car tires, check, and tell me which one is not uh, from a Greek. And I thought about it, I said, yeah, the guy's making a point. He says, so do you realize that if, even if you have a percentage of, of all of that. Even if you have a 0.001%, um, you are going to make a lot. And I said, yeah, that's, 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 that's actually really true. He said, I need you to pay me a visit um, in the Western region, see what I'm doing, and if you like it, I'll give you four acres for you to start. And that's how it all started. I went, and at the time, that the farmer was a Shama. I went, I looked at it. It was a bit discouraging because for me, I was seeing all the greens and everything, but at the same time, I was thinking, I live in Accra, I have to move all, all, all the time and it was a lot of work for me. Um, but then I, I put myself into it, he pushed me to do it and uh, we're here today. Hey, I, I, are you guys still in the partnership? Yes, um, I must say that we are, um, in fact Kwaba is, um, is a partnership or is a, is a joint venture um, between myself and him. And we work with a big team as well. Um, How large is this farm? 55 acres for now. Wow. And what are you growing? We're growing rice. Yes. And uh, so far, how has the rice business gone? Well, it's been it's been it's been great. Um, people people have received us. What we also did was that we came up with an idea um, called uh, Farm Friday or Friday Farm Day. And with Friday Farm Day, we took people through the journey. So people actually saw the soil when there was nothing on it. They saw it when it was coming up. They saw the seeds. They saw when we're broadcasting. They saw all of that. And now we're here. We harvested, and even the harvesting we showed them so they actually followed the story to the finished product you know and uh, I must say the patronage has been good the love the response um, even from from media houses like yourself um, it's been amazing it's been mind-blowing show us the rise so um, ladies and gentlemen this is the new baby it's called Kwaba and um, you know it's, it's grown right here the amazing thing about this is that you know elsewhere there's there's a machine that does sorting as well now we after we've done the sorting we also do hand picking you know where we make sure we're picking out every little detail of dirt also we go the extra mile to see about all the residue so our rice does not have the residue that you have if you pour out the rice from the pack you won't find residue you know and and, and a lot of, a lot of our um, competitors are not looking at that we're giving you premium we're giving you quality we're, we're thinking about you so we make sure that at least we reduce um, also the, the starch residue that's that's on the the, the rice so this is homemade is homegrown uh, the good thing about I always say that people ask 
um, why why your rice? I said, why not um, our rice? When you know where it's coming from, when you know it's from Ghana, you know how it's been made, you know. So you, you were telling me also that even the packaging was done by your organization. Yes, so the packaging was done by ourselves, um, um, which which brings me to how we will be able to even do in the future do customized packaging for maybe corporate bodies for entities and stuff like that so yes we do we do everything from scratch from the from the pouches to the designs to the marketing um, it's, 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 it's all us this is how many kilos this is a 2.5 um, kilo pack we also have a one kilo uh, kilogram which is um, 12 CDs and then we also have our 5 kg this goes for how much this is 22.